Okay, so now we're gonna do a short video here on converting. And in this case, we're gonna be talking about converting decimal feet into feet, inches, fractions of an inch. So we have a number here, 5.86 feet, okay? Uh, when would this be useful? When would we have to convert this into feet, inches, and fractions of an inch? Well, let's say we were trying to find this on a tape measure, 5.86. We could find the five feet fairly easy, but the 0.86 is not gonna be a number that we're gonna be able to find on a tape measure. So we need to convert that. So this is how I go about that. I take my number, five, oh. I take my number 5.86 feet. Okay, I'm going to make a little chart over here. I'm going to call it feet, full inches, and fractions of an inch. Okay. I know that in this number 5.86, I have more than five feet, but I have five full feet. So that is going to go over here. The five full feet is going to go over here. So if I come back here, I'm going to subtract the five full feet and I'm left with 0 0.86 feet. And it's important to keep those units so that you know where you are. So now I have 0 0.86 feet, which means I don't have a full foot, but it's it's high, so we know it's a lot of quite a lot of inches. So we need to convert this feet into inches. So how do we do that? Well, we know that one foot equals 12 inches. So to get from feet to inches, we just times it by 12. So I take this number and I times it by 12. So I'm gonna go in my calculator here and I'm gonna go 0 0.86 and I'm gonna times it by 12 and I get 10.32 inches, okay? Again, I know that I have 10 full inches, so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna plug it into our chart that goes there. I'm gonna subtract the 10 inches that I just put in the chart and I'm left with 0 0.32 inches. So now, again, I cannot find this number on a tape measure, so I need to convert it into a fraction, something like 3 eighths or a half inch or something like that. In the question here, it doesn't say specifically to the nearest eighth, half, quarter or 16th. So uh, from the previous video, we know that we would always assume the nearest sixteenth of an inch is gonna be close enough. So we're gonna take that number and we're gonna times it by 16, which is the denominator of a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm gonna take my number here, I'm gonna subtract 10. Now I got 0 0.32, which is right there, and I'm gonna times that by 16, and I get 5.12, and I put it over my denominator to make sure that I uh, remind myself to um, round. Since this number is four or lower, I know that I'm going to be rounding down. So it's going to stay at five sixteenths and that would go right there. So my answer looks like five feet, 10 and five sixteenths of an inch, which is right there.